Okay guys, first of all, greetings and blessings to all. Um, I was asked basically by a number of people to more or less talk about the kind of energetic work that I've been doing while being up here in northern New South Wales um, around Kurumbong, um, which actually means running water. And what I've found is that there's been a, a really powerful calling to take crystalline energy and reintroduce it um, as a soluble form of empowerment for the great waterways. And of course, many of you would know that uh, I've been working with Wayne Anderson, uh, who's known as the Goanna, down at Bambara, which is a, a Gurungai um, uh, ancestral land um, where the, um, the Karyong or the Bambara tomb is. And uh, we've been working to bring a number of um, water purification ceremonies, alignments with both the northern and the southern hemisphere under the Milky Way, um, which has been active now for 10 days and will be still around for another four weeks. It's a five-week um, planetary transit. And I just thought I'd show you, you know, the simplicity in which you can really, really step up to the plate and and demonstrate on a very genuine, um, authentic and energetic level what you can really do for the planet. So I'm really lucky because uh, someone I know up here makes a thing called Tirtam. And Tirtam, okay, is actually the sacred and the pure waters um, made from the, um, the petal of roses and also, you know, an invocation for different um, um, Hindu sort of offerings to Mother Naraini and to, um, you know, to Shiva and Saraswati and Ganesha and, and all that kind of thing. So she makes this Tiratam, which is a rather sacred um, purified water, it must be in glass, it's absolutely crucial it's in glass. And then what uh, we've done as well is that we have some powerful um, unopened uh, water from the, the Ganges in India. I'll just get that out, out, out as well. Okay, so that's this. As you can see, I'm just going to try and do this as roughly as I can. So I've used a rather large amount of that as well to mix with the Tiltam. And then what you do is you, you know, you go and buy some, um, some selenite crystal. Selenite is actually an activated fragment of a star from any star constellation. And um, it's really quite cheap and it's soluble. So you can put it in a waterway and it can really, really, you know, help and purify. So now what I'm gonna to try to do is very uh, gently open my Tirtam bottle okay and energetically basically pouring it into my bowl all right it's okay to do this in a bowl at the moment okay so pour it all in there okay like this make sure you get all of it out it's really important and then what i'm doing is i'm actually going to Invoke each piece of crystal. Hang on, I'll try and get this so my fingers out of the way. It's a little bit hard to do this as, as one person. But anyway, so take each piece of crystal and I say, from the love of my heart to the heart of all waters, we purify and we put it in the tiltam. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart, the love of my heart, to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. So we're setting this intention to basically mean that from my, the love of my heart to the, to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart 
to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. From my heart to the purified waters of all waters, we purify. Okay, so we put all that in there, and then there's some more in here as well, but these are sort of more shards. So what you can do once you've got some pure spring water or some, you know, uh, some, some, even if you do boiled water, but not tap water, and you actually leave the shards of the crystal in the, um, in the water, in glass, must be in glass, absolutely crucial, put it in glass, and that way you can, you can leave it, you can soak up um, all the energies that you set the intention for because water has memory and you're imprinting your intention to purify the polluted waters of any waterway with the purified crystalline, soluble crystalline energy of the waters that you've created yourself. So it's a very powerful way of being able to then, you know, put them in a, in a plastic bag um, once they're done, you know, I mean, you can wrap them in, a, in an individual um, bit of Scott towel, each one. I don't find that's necessary. I just put them in a plastic bag and then you put it in the um, glove box of your car and then as you travel around, because you never know where you get called to these days, you know, the energy is, is very, very um, um, transitory and we're always in flux as, you know, um, expansive beings in a conscious, expansive universe. Um, you've always got them with you. And then if you pass a waterway, you just open the window and you just say, from my heart to the purified waters of all waters, and just throw it in, just basically throw it into the, into the system, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. And the intention, the imprint of the memory that you've created um, from your heart energy, from your heart space, what I call the greater central sun within, um, you actually energetically and, you know, uh, physically maintain a certain connectivity to helping that water on its way to becoming repurified. So it's really, really awesome. And then what I do is that, you know, because that's already been in Tirtan, right? That's why I just wanted to demonstrate it. I've already had all that in a big glass bottle of Tirtan. Um, you can just have some at home, um, like I have over here. You know, this is another bigger bottle that I have. And this has got all the shards in it. I don't know if you can see that. I'll just move that out of the way. But this has got all the crystal shards in it. And you just leave that. And that will actually dissolve. And then you'll have crystalline energy, literally, in your home. And you just send the power and the imprint of that intention out to the universe. And it'll expand it because you are, as I said, a, a conscious and expansive being. You know, in a constant state of transitory movement and flux. So I just wanted to share that with all of you and um, hope that, uh, that that's something that you may consider wanting to do. And then literally you just take each one, put it into a plastic bag, as I said, once it's been immersed. You, you can add some um, Himalayan rock salt to it. Um, that's also a very good purifying agent. 
But because this crystal hasn't really been handled, it's been in a pretty sacred place for quite some time um, before it was um, uh, split up into the smaller fragments, um, uh, you're in pretty good shape on that basis. If you buy it out of, you know, shops, it has been handled, so it's always good to um, purify it in your own space with a little bit of Himalayan rock salt and as pure a water as you possibly can. So I just wanted to share that with everybody and um, really keen to hear what anyone has to say about it. Much, much love to all. Namaste.